What's up, y'all? Getting ready to make some maple whiskey. I'm going to uh, do 100% maple. Can't call it bourbon because it ain't got corn in it. I got 53 pounds of maple syrup. 100% grade A, pure, dark color, robust maple syrup. Every time I go shopping, I buy one or two of these. I've been collecting these for a year. <laughs> We're going to finally use them. Check this out. Five gallons of water. Add your syrup. Bring it to a boil and shut it off. Put a little bit of yeast nutrient, a little bit of yeast energizer in there, stir her up. Use this uh, yellow, yellow label angels yeast that my buddy Mario sent me. One of the one of the people that watch my videos there on YouTube sent me a, a some angels yeast. Let's try this out. It's more than enough. Let's stir it up. Put the lid on her. Wait till she's done fermenting. We'll run her off. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna switch my maple mash over into my pot. Put her together. I just put some maple syrup at the top of my infuser. I'm going to open it once the once, uh, heads are finished. Let's start her up. Alright, I dumped the heads already. This is my first jar. I'm about to hit my infuser and drop all that maple syrup down into my funnel. Look at that. I'll load her back up and do it again after two or three jars. About every third jar, I'm dumping more maple in. jars out of that run. I ran it all the way from 150 down to about 90. Um, I've, I've tried it all, man. It, this is excellent. I, I'm not uh, disappointed in anything in this run. Um, 
smells like maple. That infuser is awesome. I infused every third jar. So after I got three jars, I dump more maple. Three jars, dump more maple. It's an expensive run, but it's well worth it. Uh, hold on. All right, I got some, got some sugar maple, lightly toasted. Now, when you're uh, making uh, making this. If you use lightly toasted, you're probably not going to get that dark bourbon color that you want. I guess this is going to be a, uh, if I put it on white oak, I could call it a bourbon. But using this maple, I could just call it whiskey. But I might put it on this and then put some white oak in it to darken it up and give it that other flavor. But I want to see how it tastes like this. Also, you, you don't have to make uh, amber colored liquor every time. I mean, it, you know, sometimes, sometimes it'll look like that. I'm not, I'm using that color as a reference only. I'm not using the, how this tastes. So I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, actually, that's not the bad one. That one ain't bad. Hakuzaki's fucking terrible. But, anyways, I'm going to try and make some whiskey at the very least. And also, something I've never talked about on my channel is when you make moonshine or any type of spirits, if you let it air out for, you know, a day or two, take the lid, take that off, let her air out, coffee filter over, keep all the bugs and dust out of it. Let it air out. Even if you ain't going to put no oak in it, it uh, mellows out the liquor. What I want to do with this before I do this is I'm going to add all this to a barrel and uh, I'm going to proof it down to 120. When you're aging and you're putting, it, putting some wood on it, you don't want it higher than 120. Just that's just my thing. Um, other people do whatever they want. I'm going to put a little piece of oak in each barrel. I'll come back to you with another video. That, that's a couple months, two, three months down the road. We'll have some whiskey, bourbon, whatever we decide to make. But, if, you know, after you're done running, you want it to mellow out, just do that. It's pretty cool, right? Simple coffee filter, all them nasty, you know, parts of the alcohol that's still evaporating will leave and it'll be smooth. That's what they do with these these bad boys up here, you know what I mean? That good shit, top shelf, but it airs out in a barrel. Uh, either way, that's maple moonshine, maple whiskey, maple bourbon, whatever you want to call it. We'll see y'all later. Fuck your mama, bitch! I want to say thanks, Copper Steel Co., for giving me that beautiful steel. You guys check that out at coppersteelco.com. It's called the Phil Billy Steel. It's on the front page.